Lights, camera, action. into my presentation. Fuji Love. Uh, the reason why I tagged my presentation Fuji Love is because for me, I feel like my experience with Fujifilm has been more of a, um, a love relationship. And I feel like someone who you love, you would tell the world about. And that's how it's been for me with Fujifilm, I think for the past five years. It, I mean, for everyone who cares to know, I would tell you <laughs> reasons why you should ditch your camera and get to Fujifilm regardless of, you know, how, how expensive your camera is or, you know, if you just got one. So why Fujifilm? Um, a lot of people ask that question. Why Fujifilm? What's so special about Fujifilm? But then most of the time my reply is, why not? Why not Fujifilm? Why anything else? It's one of the best cameras in the world. In my opinion, it's the best camera in the world. And so this is not from a marketing point of view. It's just, this is something I've experienced. I know that as we photographers, we, coming from DSLR days when you have to shoot and then look at the camera, uh, look at your camera and you're like, ah, this picture is dark. This picture is not bright enough. And then, you know, there's this confusion. And then the moment is passing you by. And here comes this system that helps you shoot. And while you're, before you shoot, you can see everything you're doing. Do you get what I'm saying? So you can nail that moment quickly so why not that but then you ask okay but there are other cameras that I that can actually do that because I mean that's a mirrorless camera function so what other cameras I mean there are other cameras that can do that so what else what else is special about Fujifilm and then so these for me are like the few attractions one of the reasons why I love Fujifilm my Fujifilm um, I use uh, Fujifilm X-T3 I used to use the X-T30 fantastic camera um, same sensor, so there's no, oh, one camera is bigger than the other one. Uh-uh, no. Um, so why? The electronic viewfinder. And what, what is the electronic viewfinder? Um, so I'll just let you guys read this. So <laughs> yeah. So pretty much for me, um, what I'll explain the electronic viewfinder is I can see my pictures before I take them, just like the way you have your phone. Um, if you use an iPhone or if you use like a Samsung, you can see the picture, and if you feel like maybe you want to brighten up the person's face, you can tap that place, increase the... And this is what the camera does for you, because it's easy for you to see your ISO, your shutter speed. If your picture is too exposed, it's easy to say, well, let me bring down my ISO. But compared to like other DSLR cameras where you literally have to guess and shoot to see what the result is, or maybe just shoot your picture overexposed and then you know, fix it in post-production, you can actually do everything on the camera because you can see it in real time. So for example, as, um, if, as an event photographer, as a wedding photographer, sometimes you can be taking your pictures and then you know, a cinematographer can come in with a video light and that pretty much changes your setting. But because you can see that, it's easy for me to be able to fix my exposure, you know, maybe drop down my ISO, drop down, you know, take something up without having to wait 
till that picture is taken. So which means I save more time, I capture more moments, and I'm done. I move on to the next thing. The lenses. The aperture dial on the lenses, um, I feel like it's one of the best features of the Fujifilm cameras. So back in the day, I used to struggle with my, <laughs> my ISO somewhere, and then my aperture somewhere inside the camera, and I'm thinking, okay, which one is it? And then I'm maybe shooting, I want to shoot F4, and I'm shooting 1.8, and I'm like, wow, I took that picture on 1.8. And you know, the groom is focused, and then the guys at the back, they're blurred, and they've all gone. So my man, I'm like, so what's going on? However, with the Fujifilm, it sort of has this, you know, manual lens setup. You have your apertures on the lens. So it's easy while I'm scrolling that I know right now I'm shooting at 2.8. I, it, it's more intentional. I think that for me is the word. It's more intentional. I know if I want to shoot 2.0, my hand is not going to do a batting for me because I know that this is where I'm going. Do you get what I'm saying? My hand is not going to mistakenly hit one button and I'm shooting at the wrong and I have to keep looking at my camera. I know. So it's easy for me. So this is um, for the X-T3. And it has majority of your settings here. It has your... ISO and it has your shutter speed. So if I know that I have my lens there that controls my aperture, yeah, this has my ISO. So it's easy for me to say, okay, look, my ISO is going to be here. My shutter speed is going to be there. What else do we use to control our exposures? That's it. The ISO, aperture, shutter speed. So if everything is on top of the camera, how are you not going to get your pictures, perfect pictures? Which is one of the reasons why for the past five years, I've been shooting JPEG with the Fujifilm. That's been the ones, because it's been easy for me to do. I mean, because what else am I supposed to do? No offense to those who shoot raw. I respect you guys. I love the time that you guys put in your work. <laughs> but I don't have that time. <laughs> and then I see a camera that can help me save time. Because now I'm not worried about overexposure anymore. I'm not worried about getting the wrong exposure. It's there on the camera. So for me, like this is one of... I, I feel like it's a no-brainer. It's, it's an awesome feature. It's there. And you know, there are times when, say for example, you're shooting outdoors and you know it's bright. Most of the time, we photographers will mostly use our shutter speed. So at that time, I know, okay, I want to shoot this at F4. I'm shooting a group shot. The only thing, if the sun keeps going up and down, I'm only touching that shutter speed button and that's it. I don't have to keep meddling, 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 meddling. It's easy. Fantastic. JPEG straight out of the camera. I kid you not. It's, that's why I say it's a love experience. Like, every time I talk about it, I feel overwhelmed. I, I, maybe because I've spent so much money on cameras and it's been rubbish. No, trust me, I have, we've, we've bought cameras. I mean, like, if you style photography back in the day, there used to be a time when if you're not using the latest camera or the biggest camera, you're not a big photographer. But then when you go home, you're crying because you're like, this camera is doing rubbish. Because you can't really get, you don't get value for money. I'll put it that way. But now I'm able to shoot fantastic pictures. Do you know how amazing it is when you take a picture of your client and then you can show your client? But imagine when the pictures are exposed and they're like, oh, can I say, no, 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 no I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you later. <laughs> I'll send it to you. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? I can show my clients the pictures. I can engage with potential clients at weddings, guests. You know, there are times when people are skeptical about taking pictures, and you're like, no, don't worry, the picture's going to be nice. And then you take the picture. You want to show them. And the moment you show them, they're like, oh, wow, it's good. And they're like, yeah. And they're like, wow, okay, I, I want you on my next... You can even... You know, nowadays, people don't even want to wait anymore. They don't want you to edit. Once they see the picture and it's beautiful to them, please send it. And then I can send the picture. So if I'm already taking a picture like this for a bride, I mean, this is straight out of the camera. It's not edited. What else am I doing in post-production? Do you hear what I'm saying? What else? So by the time I'm showing the bride this, I'm building the bride's confidence, I'm getting more reps, yeah? This is a system that is making me, it's making my business better. It's making me look good. And, and I'm still going to get to that, but the Fujifilm also has this, um, where you can connect it to your app, and you can send it to your phone straight up or you can send it to your clients and it's easy. So it has fantastic JPEGs out of the camera. A lot of photographers have asked me, yeah, but you know JPEGs are not professional. I'm like, what is professional? 
I mean, what is professional? I mean, this is my opinion. Don't, don't quote me on it, but this is my opinion because I'm able to get past it. And this is the function of a camera because this is what you're investing in. If it's able to give you that, then you're good. This is a JPEG photo. And this is simple. Have the backlight, have a video light on the subject, fix my aperture, whatever aperture I want. Obviously, I'm taking two people, so I want it like maybe F4. Yeah? My ISO, my shutter speed, and that's it. So you will look at this picture and think, oh man, no, it's because it's below. Ah, no, 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 no. This guy is a, is, is a boss. No, I'm not a boss. The camera is the boss. The camera helps me to shoot what I can shoot. Do you get what I'm saying? So when people tell me, oh, boss, I want to be like you. No, I'm like, bro, don't be like me. Get a Fuji film. I kid you not. Because if you get a Fuji film, you cut out years of my experience. Yes. Yes. Because you see it. You see it. We have, currently, we have um, a, a community, just me and some of my friends, of about, we're about 15, and we use Fuji film. And some of them started like about a year ago. There's one of them at, at the back, Israel. And in the space of one year, Israel has become an amazing photographer. And this took me 12 years. So there's no, it, it, it sort of breaks that thing of you seeing someone as, man, it's going to take me years to get there. No. This camera puts you on the same level. So the only thing is, how do you improve yourself? How do you improve yourself as a photographer? JPEG. All I have to do is capture the moment. So imagine you're trying to do, for, for like the fashion photographers, you're trying to set up lights and everything, and then you're the only one in the studio. So, and then as soon as your subject is done, you're done with that pose. For example, Gazmado can understand. And then you want to change to maybe another angle, and then you have to change the lights. If you have light assistance, it's easier for you. But if you're the only person, you'll be stressed. Because then you have to turn this light and turn that light and turn. But this is what, it's the same thing with the Fujifilm. Once you have your buttons on top of the camera, you can move. You can move from taking pictures in here and outside without having to, what do I change to? It's quick. And these are pictures that I took in less than three seconds. Not because I'm experienced, but because the camera can do that. JPEG pictures, straight out of the camera. What is the technique? Light at the back, video lights, broad daylight, yes. Shut down my shutter speed, it's on top of my camera. Because the electronic viewfinder helps me see it. So if I know it's not making sense, I can put it to the one that makes sense. If 1,000 shutter speed is not making sense, if it's too dark, I can reduce it to 500. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's it, incredible dynamic range. I mean, I feel like this is one thing where a lot of photographers, I feel like this is our silence issue with cameras. That dynamic range. You get, to the, you get to a wedding and, you know, a bride is coming out. I mean, she's coming into the hall. But there's a lot of light at the back. And then you're trying to take the picture and you need a lot of flash to be able to overpower it. This camera takes that stress off you. I kid you not. It is incredible. Like, back in the day when I used to use other systems, I would run away from taking brides until maybe they're halfway into the hall. But now, I want to be there. And it's easy for me to shoot a silhouette. It's easy for me to, I'm one shutter speed click away from a silhouette and then going back to my normal image. This is one setting that I found out and I just feel like I should mention it here because um, I know there are some Fuji users and some people might not be, uh, might not know about this. Um, on the camera, there's dynamic range 100, dynamic range 200, and dynamic range 400. 400 is the highest and that's the best. However, it doesn't start until you're using 640 ISO. So technically for me, 640 ISO becomes my new 100. So which means I shoot, I don't shoot below, for certain photos, I don't shoot below 640. Why? If I'm taking a picture of a very light-skinned bride and she's wearing white and she's outside, that's recipe for disaster. That's post-production. Like there's no... But then, I can balance that same picture in JPEG because of the dynamic range. It helps me avoid any overexposure on the dress. However, 
it starts when I should at 6.40. I'll get into some of the technicalities if you have any other questions. Um, so let me just move on. It captures more details without overexposing your image. Now, this is a picture shot at 100 ISO. Dynamic range 100. And this is a picture shot at 640. Dynamic range 640. Uh, 640, dynamic range 400. Can we see the exposure on the dress? Can we see the overexposure on the dress? Even though it's a bit minimal. I mean, that's how great the camera is. But then look at the, the one 640. It's balanced with her skin. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's, it's just a lot easier. Super cool portrait mode. And this is very, 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 very important. The, the profile you shoot on the camera matters. For me, I feel like... Um, so everything I'm talking about is how I see it. Obviously, there are other, you know... I mean, I'm sure that our other speakers have their own, um, their own expressions of, of Fujifilm. But for me, Astrosoft is one of the best profiles. Why? Um, it's perfect for portraits. It gives you that soft feel. It takes away um, too much greetiness from your image. Um, the colors in the profile are pleasing. They're amazing. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I said, look, you take a picture, you show your client, they love it. That's it. This is the profile for you. And they sort of have that ready-to-print look. It's easy to go. So honorable mentions of this amazing camera. Incredible focus in the dark. Um, I remember there was a time when I had an event in Mexico. And obviously, I was the only photographer because the client couldn't fly someone else. And I didn't have the luxury of a light assistant. And then, you know, I'd, you know, I'd done everything. And then we went to the after party. And then they switched off all of the lights. The only light <laughs> that was there was coming from the dance floor because it had, like, all them. And I was literally crying, like, yeah, okay, this is it. I, I'm not going to be able to give the client any pictures because, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to have to aim the flash directly at them or anything. And for some ridiculous reason, when I tried to focus... Even in the dark, it focused on the, and it was sharp. Like I'm telling you, if you shoot F2 in the dark, it's not going to be looking, it's not going to try to get focus, no. It would hit that focus and your pictures would be sharp. The eye tracking, it's fantastic. It has that feature. It can help you um, easily focus on, the, you know, trying to get your subject, especially when you have a lot of people around. It can easily, you know, do the eye focus, um, the eye tracking focus for you so you can get very sharp images. Um, in body image stabilization, that's IBIS. This feature comes on the XT4. Um, well, I feel like a lot more people, because I were photographers here, but I know that there are some people that have love for Fuji for videos. Um, this is sort of where you come in. Um, instead of you having to use the gimbal, it has that image stabilization for your videos, so they don't feel shaky or anything like that. It has that smooth glide. Um, this for me is one of the most important factors um, why I chose the Fujifilm or why I'm still using the Fujifilm. Three custom white balance settings. So which means I can set a white balance to maybe daylight here. And then I know that we're going to go outside. And I don't want to start messing with my white balance. I set another one. And then maybe if I go into a very dark place, and don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that, oh, you're only going to set it for those things. If you get to an event, to your event, or maybe a session, you can say, look, I'm setting these three settings for, you know, I go outside, I take a picture, I prefer the white balance here. You save that. You come in, you take a picture, you see this, the white balance that works, you save it. And it's easy. So it's one of your quick dials, as well as, you know, your ISO, aperture, and the rest of them. Um, the DX mode. Um, I feel like a lot of event photographers will find this very useful. Sometimes you want to use a prime lens, but then you can't go too close. So you need something that, you know, you just need your lens to act like a zoom lens to be able to help you get the picture a bit closer. Um, it has that feature. For video, uh, for videographers, it has the, it should 4K. And, I mean, for someone who has done videos, I know that most of the time if you're going to get 4K footages, you have to use like an external recorder to record it and that's more money. But this, all you need to do is to get a fast CF card and then you can record 4K straight. I mean, I'm talking 422. And with the X-T4 and the X-T3, you can record 
60 frames at 4K. You know, with the, yeah, with the X-T4 and the X-T3. I feel like that's incredible. And then most importantly, easy file transfer via Fujifilm camera remotes. There's an app called the Fuji camera remotes. You can share your images, your videos instantly. And it's easy for you to share with your clients. Now, I know a lot of you will hear this and say, okay, so this camera is amazing. This camera can do this camera. How much is it? Which is important. I mean, things, it's how much is it? Right now in the market, the Fujifilm is one of the cheapest cameras. You can pick up an XT30 Mark II with camera joint, body only, for 485,000 naira. Am I correct? For 485,000 naira. That is ridiculous for a camera that can do this. There's no camera on the market. Please, go anywhere. If you tell them you want to buy a camera of 500K right now, you know what they're going to bring out for you. There's no camera on the market. Even the X-T3s and the X-T4s, these are cameras that don't go beyond 1 million. So which means you have more money to save for lenses. You have more money to save for your accessories. For me, price point is a no-brainer. So I just wanted to show you guys some of my amazing, my favorite images um, created with the Fujifilm. Obviously, these are not the raw images. Um, some of them have been edited. But just to show you, all images shot with JPEG. It's ridiculously sharp. This is shot at F2. And I mean, the bride is completely in focus. I don't have, you know, that shifty blur or anything that you know that you get from shooting very wide apertures. It is fantastic with video lights. I mean, I can't say, I mean, I, I practically shoot video lights for like 90% at, at our events. It, it, is, it is amazing. This is video lights and continuous lights. This is just a regular sunlight. Um, I spoke about the dynamic range. It is, it is amazing, even when you're outdoors. Most other cameras will give you a very nasty shadow because this part of his face is not in the light. And this wasn't even edited. So if, if, you're, if this is the window, if you have the window here, yeah, and you have your subject here, best believe if you're taking the picture here from, from, from this angle, you're going to have this part with regular cameras. This part lit and this part ridiculously dark. I know a camera that's notorious for it. Well, since we're talking about Fujifilm, <laughs> there's no need going there. <laughs> it is, but, but with the Fujifilm, there's a subtle blend, especially when you're shooting at 640 ISO. And that's for, um, 640 ISO onward, that's four, 400 dynamic range. It just, it, it renders your image perfectly. Backlights, silhouettes. I feel like the Fujifilm literally pushes me to shoot more silhouettes because I'm one shutter speed dial away from from creating that image. This was shot of one, one, uh, one, is it fre fre Fresnel head? Fresnel head lights, and it was really bright. But then shutting down the shutter speed, I still get to have details. Everything is not lost, it's not dark. The, bright, the light is not on the bright, and everywhere is dark. And this is with the natural light, this is the sun. So at the time we're done with the shoots, so, <laughs> Another fun fact. It helps you see. We're done with the shoot and we're leaving. And then I noticed the sun. And I was like, okay, can we quickly just take this? And the couple were like, uh, no, you said that that was the last shot 20 minutes ago. So there was no way I was going to take another picture. And I was like, okay, guys, just give me 30 seconds. And they said you have 15. And we're able to create this in 15 seconds. Why? Because the camera knows what to do. Sun is hitting the bride, shooting through some leaves, and that's it. We're done. Same thing I said about the dynamic range with the lights. There's no external light here. This is natural light. So the reason why I'm sharing, you know, different um, light pictures with different light technique is so that you don't feel like, oh, it's great with studio lights, or it's great with flashlights, or it's great with just video lights. No, I'm sharing the whole range so you can see what it's like. This is natural light. It is just, it is easy. Normally, his face should have been super dark. This is the sun at the back, and this is one video light. So it's not even like a flash. So, you know, shooting through veils, has anyone ever struggled trying to shoot through veil with light? 
is one of the hardest things to do. And this is, is, it has helped me navigate that easily. So, after all is said and done, after the whole speech, the real question is, are you convinced to invest in the Fujifilm camera? Thank you for your time. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I love the Fujifilm. Thank you so much. Okay, my question now is, um, I'm seeing something different from Fujifilm today, even though I've Googled it, I've checked it on YouTube. But um, mostly you use um, video light, you know, most natural light and video light. Yes. Now, I don't know if it's that your specialty in terms of not using a speed light or go with a soft box yeah. with a light. The video light, is it to create a vignette? Or what's the intentional? Is it based on the camera shooting on low light? Or is it just your thing of using video light for almost all your works? Yes, so because we have um, so many amazing um, wedding photographers. Uh, so we have, for example, Lumi Morgan, who's like the king of natural light. Uh, you want to be able to create a niche for yourself. So for me, that's one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I love video light. Uh, it kind of expresses, you know, um, the way I think, the way I want to interpret images. For me, video light works. However, it's one of the reasons why it took some more time to show you some pictures with natural light, flashlight, backlight, I mean all round, so that you have an all round feel. Uh, does that answer your question? Lights, camera, action.